Hi everyone and welcome to another new episode of the New Homes podcast. A very special episode, in fact, uh, festive themed, as you might be able to guess if you're watching. We're uh, <laughs> all in our Christmas jumpers. Um, and uh, Christmas has indeed come early for me in particular because we're going to be talking all about tech. I'm very excited to be joined by Georgie and Richard today. Uh, thanks both for, for coming in. Thanks uh, for having us. Georgie, do you want to tell me a bit, first of all, about um, you know your background and your love of tech and where that comes from? Yeah, of course. So um, about four years ago, I joined The Gadget Show, which is brilliant fun. I basically get to travel around the world testing out the latest in consumer technology. So I get to sort of see what's really on the cutting edge of technology and also, you know, what, what consumers are using and, and give, give viewers at home advice on, on what to buy when it comes to consumer tech. What I'm sort of most personally interested in is how technology is shaping us culturally and socially. So, you know, things like smart home tech, how is that going to change the way that I'm going to actually live and like communicate with my family? Or um, I'm sure we'll speak about it more in this episode, but you know, the pandemic, like think how much people have completely changed the way they live and work and commute and do all that stuff. And so technology is like the central cog that, that changes that. Amazing. Okay. I can't wait to unpack that a little bit more shortly. Uh, and uh, Richard, do you want to tell us a bit more about yourself? Yeah, I'm Richard Harding from Sky. Um, I work in this commercial partnerships team, working with new build developers such as Red Row. Um, and over the past year, we've kind of really been leaning into our new piece of technology that we're going to be talking about later on. And we've been working with Red Row to see how we can bring that to launch, which has been really exciting. Fantastic. Okay, well, um, it's a great brand that obviously uh, many of our listeners and viewers will be uh, very familiar with. And um, I think uh, Skyglass, which we'll touch on very shortly, is going to be uh, fantastic news for a lot of them. So um, at Red Row, we've seen, um, you know, obviously big shifts in the wake of the pandemic with how people are living in their homes and, and using the space and what they want out of it. Is, is that something that's very much happening in the tech space as well, Georgie? Gosh, I mean can't we all relate to just what a huge change that's happened over the past year and a half? I mean, what basically sort of you know, people predicted would take maybe 10 years to do with the whole remote working and hybrid working, working from home, honestly happened overnight. Um, and I'm sure we all have our own stories and experiences of, of what that actually felt like. Um, and again, I think one of the one of the sort of silver linings, dare I say that, from the pandemic is, is now the ability to have truly flexible working and to be able to work from anywhere. And, you know, to be able to not have to travel so much. Um, how, how, what was your experience like working? Are you full-time working from home still it's virtually yeah but that's also from the nature of my work so my work was visiting clients quite a lot and straight away we weren't able to visit other people's offices never mind our own office so we had to make that transition from going to an office with gigabyte capability broadband to your bedroom basically yes. and how can you make that work and how do you do it with all these meetings so microsoft teams is obviously coming to the four, particularly our business, that's our main source of communication. And when we've had conversations with the likes of Red Row and all of our partners, that's how we conduct all of our meetings rather than face to face. So, um, Richard, is this kind of shift in, in societal trends something that Sky are very much working around and towards um, with, with what you've been doing over there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, obviously we, we're talking about Sky Glass today. Um, that has come out of a, a long line of innovation. When I first started at Sky, we just launched um, Sky Plus and we transitioned through H Sky Plus HD to Sky Q, um, where we brought all this content together as best as we could. And now we brought out Sky Glass, which is not only put all the content in one place, but all technology as well. So we brought in an Dolby Atmos soundbar and we've got the screen and of course, the actual boxes inside there as well. So. Now that's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> the actual, you, you sort of said, the actual box is there. There's no dish. Yeah. There's no dish. That's the key to that it. That is for, amazing. For, that's probably why we're here today. <laughs> yeah. When we brought out Sky Q, all we heard straight away immediately was, this is great, but when are you going to get rid of the dish? Yeah. Particularly from, from Red Row, who've... Um, <laughs> they've, been, have they been on at you, have they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've, they've always kind of accommodated the dish, but really wanted to get rid of it. So... Um, finally, we, we're there, we're delivering it over the internet, which I guess is more in line with how everybody else is delivering content as well. Um, so then we can pull all that content together and deliver it under one user interface to make it easy to save time. 
Mm. Um, and then we've got lots of innovation coming up as well. So we're looking to add in a camera. So oh, exactly, exactly what, what you're saying. Thinking, yeah. um, so you can just sit in front of the TV and make those calls wow. straight from your TV. Yeah. So that sh should be coming a lot easier year. for family life, isn't it? We, we just had a quick look at it earlier and uh, I was absolutely blown away. It looks um, fantastic and uh, really sleek and, um, and, and uh, so easy to use. I, I didn't realise that things like Netflix and, and so on are actually built in as well and right there, um, which um, was impressed. Can you just tell us a bit more about what you get as a package um, just for our listeners and viewers? Yeah, so we've kind of re remodelled the package as well. So rather than just getting Sky TV um, and, and there you go, here's a box with Sky TV in it. Um, we've changed that whole concept of you get the hardware alongside Sky TV and also Netflix all built into one package. Yeah. Great, okay, so you can even get a new TV further down the line when you're uh, ready it. to upgrade, wow. Yeah, that's the plan. So it's, uh, it's quite a concept change from just going down to the uh, TV store and buying a TV. Why specifically um, have, have we partnered, Richard? It'd be good for anyone listening and watching, thinking, uh, wh where's this come from with, with Red Row and yeah. Sky? Yeah, so obviously the issue that we never went down this route before was how could we deliver the content if we didn't have the dish? And it was all broadband based. So we've, we've decided now because ultra fast broadband's out there and super fast broadband's more reliable, but the beauty of new build is that everything is ultra fast broadband. Okay. We've got FTTP to every single new build home um, that we're dealing with. So it's the perfect position to put that TV and look at the houses that we're in. They're really lovely. I'm sure you've had a look around, George. Oh, around. I've already snaked in all the bedrooms, <laughs> had a little look. Yes, lovely yep. done with the place. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. And, and what, we've, what we've always been able to do is show our content in places, but now we've got a piece of hardware, we want to show that and we want to show it in the best place that we can. We've opened retail um, this year, but we've got the opportunity here to show it within a home and put that in a, a, an environment that somebody's going to actually live with it. So it's a great opportunity to be able to to put them into into these show homes. So you, you have the one TV that that's like sort of your main TV. What was if you wanted it, Sky in the kitchen yeah, as well? Can you, you do that? Yep, yeah, you can get pucks that we call them. Right. So um, we just put them around into different screens. So uh, you add, the, add it in, sits behind your TV, plug it in, plug it into HDMI, and it just replicates what what you can do with with any sky glass product so you as well. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a sky glass TV to yeah. get the same like kind of Yeah, and your multi screen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And all of that's still delivered with no dish, right? Okay, I hadn't quite uh, appreciated that. Yeah. So uh, it's amazing. It does sound uh, really really different and as you say will be uh, interesting uh, street scenes for for years to come without these uh, satellite Definitely, dishes yeah. everywhere. I, mean, I was really struck by the design and how kind of almost minimalist it, it looked in some ways. Um, what did you guys think? Yeah, I'm really a big fan of the fact that you've got a soundbar built in. Um, I mean, if, if people have experienced a soundbar before, then they know that it feels like a lot more cinematic. It feels like the sound's coming at you and you're really absorbed by by the sound. So yeah, that's something that struck me straight away when, when yeah. I had a first little play. The quality of the sound really impressed me once I, once I had a play with it. I've always had a sound, separate soundbar before and I was expecting... To plug it in again. To, I'll have to plug it in <laughs> yeah. again, but it, it's brilliant. It's, it's a really good sound that comes out of there. And I understand it's got Dolby Atmos built in, which uh, if I understand uh, correctly and do step in, Georgie, when I uh, inevitably get it wrong, but is um, it's, it fires sound up as well as just at you. So, uh, you know, it's got that kind of room filling quality. Is, is that right? Yeah, definitely. There's five speakers built in. So there's two pointing upwards, like you say. Um, two out to the side, one straight at you and the subwoofer in there as well. So it's great. Oh, fantastic. Well, um, yeah, thanks so much. It's really good to see it here in the show home. So Georgie, I um, have a bit of a confession to make. I uh, live in a Red Row home. I've been in there for, for three and a half years now. And despite the fact I love tech, I've never really taken that step and done the whole smart home thing. I'm, I've you not? not I know. You uh, surprised me because just, just from our conversation today and speaking earlier, you really are into your tech. So you need to get that sorted, my friend. Yeah. What what am I doing wrong? What kind of uh, things should I be looking at? Can you uh, please help me out? Okay. So you're sort of saying like for, for a start pack of people, people wanting to start using some smart home tech, what I would recommend. Yes, please. Well, I think the first thing I'd recommend anyone to do is go and get a smart speaker. Uh, we've got the Echo 
say fourth generation here, um, but there's lots of different ones around. Um, you can go, go Google Assistant if you want to do, Google Home. Um, I'm an Alexa fan personally, okay. but I, have you got a preference? Over I haven't, them? no, I've like Tom, I haven't jumped down there yet. Um, I think mostly because it, when it first came out, I was like, which should I go for? You couldn't which decide. is going to be compatible with everything else that I've yeah. got. And now I feel like I'm too late to the game. Oh, no, never too late. Um, li listen, I, as I said, I'm an Alexa fan. Um, I think it really is sort of your personal preference. And I've done many tests over the years between the two of them, and there's not much difference okay. between them. So it's just one of those things. I think once you, you get, start getting used to speaking to one, then that's the one that turns into your, your sort of um, your, your household friend. Mm -hmm. um, so I I think that's a really good place to start because that then links up to all your other smart home tech and using your voice around the home is something that actually really does make life a lot easier. It means that if you're mid cooking, you can set a timer quite easily. I always use it for adding stuff to the shopping list. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're just in the kitchen, you've realized you've run out of something and you just say, you know, Alexa, add pepper to my shopping list. And then when I'm in the supermarket, I can reference that because it will just be on my Alexa app um, on my phone or I can just look at it when I'm writing up my shopping list. Um, but then that links up to other smart home pieces of tech. So um, I've got some smart plugs here. They're mm. from Tapo. Um, they almost like work like an, a, a, an adapter, you know, so you'd, you'd put that into your plug and then you just put your normal plug in okay. at the front. And then that turns everything um, into a smart enabled device. So I have all my lamps and trust me, I've got quite a few lamps <laughs> in my home connected to one of these. Um, and then you can sort of like cluster them together and I can just say like, Alexa, I'm home or Alexa, I'm going to bed and then it will turn off the lights downstairs, turn up my lights upstairs, things like that. Wow, so okay. they're, they're called routines that you can create with that. Um, other smart home bits of tech that it can link up to are, are things like a smart doorbell, very useful for all the million of packages that no doubt they'll be turning up at the house over Christmas. Um, it, you know, it's also a really good security feature as well to have. Um, thermostats, again, just it just makes your life easier, doesn't it? Um, you know, you, you if you've forgotten to turn the heat Heating on when you've left the house. If you if you want to have the heater on before you get home, if you're sat on the sofa and just excuse me, <laughs> I'll tell you who that is. He's wanting to join in the conversation. So this is um, the Ebo robot that I also brought along. I definitely want to ask about him. Yeah, he's definitely caught my eye. Yeah, it's... he's really cute. So um, he again is um, links up to your Wi-Fi and then you can control him via your phone. Um, but it's just it's it's, it's it's a bit of fun, really. Um, he can basically can patrol around your home. So you can either use it as a security thing. Uh, maybe if you've got pets, you can check in on your pets while you're away. My um, pets would not with, get they go with crazy. That. No. Yeah. Okay, well, only if, your, pet, only if uh, your pets can tolerate such a little dude. Um, but you can also like speak to people. So maybe um, if you're away from the home and you want to go and check in on your wife or kids, you can go and say hi okay. to them. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of fun. I can um, see but that. Yeah. Security-wise, I'm not sure it would intimidate any... Uh, <laughs> Uh, intruders particularly but, but you know you, if maybe you're on holiday you can you can check out check out everything's okay um yes and then um oh i wanted to mention this too this is the um ember mug too which you know we were speaking about working from home mm -hmm. earlier um well do you do that a really annoying thing where you make yourself a cup of tea and then you go and sit at your desk and you're either on a work call or maybe you've got children and the children are distracting you and you come back to your cup of tea and it's cold and horrible um well this i mean it's quite simple but my gosh it makes life easier it just keeps your tea the perfect temperature the whole time so wow. it could be like four hours later and it would still be a really lovely warm or hot cup of tea which is what everyone's after also very useful you know when we're in lockdown you're having a lot of like garden parties and, and it was chilly outside yes, a lot of cold tea exactly yeah. a lot of cold tea <laughs> was being served and um, so that i would say is like a really good sort of starting pack if you wanted to get into smart home tech and then you've also got like the entertainment side of things um which i guess is looking at you know shiny new tvs and how they can be integrated into your home um a sound systems you know i think it's really good to have a multi-room sound system i'm a big fan of sonos but there are mm -hmm. lots of different ones out there um and exercising at home so um yeah a, a peloton or something that allows you to do an at-home workout that maybe like interacts with your heart rate monitor and stuff like that that's like the sort of the next level of at-home workouts wow okay so uh Christmas is uh, just around the corner. Hence as, uh, the Christmas jumpers. For, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Richard, have you got any of this uh, tech or anything else on your Christmas wish list? I think I feel like I should jump into getting a, a smart device yeah. at some point. 
Uh, but those plugs definitely will be on our list um, to get for sure. Yeah, I think you'd really enjoy them. I mean, you can just use those smart plugs just through the app separately. Um, but having having the smart assistant just makes it makes it really slick. Get into the 21st century. Exactly. Eventually. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> and Georgie, what are you going to be uh, asking Father Christmas for this year? Oh, I've got quite a few things on my wish list. Um, well, I mean, I think if Father Christmas is in a very generous mood, um, I'd be asking for a Peloton. Just rather expensive. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm a big fan of spinning. I'm sort of a big fan into well-being technology and um, how we can bring that into the home a lot more. So I think uh, that would be high up in there. If that's maybe a little bit too much of a stretch for Father Christmas, then um, I really like the the Lumi, Lumi alarm clock. I'd like that. Have you seen them? They're the ones that have the light on the top. Which, the mimic the sun. Exactly. And, yeah. So you wake up, you know, as we go into these longer, darker days, wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed. And also I've got a baby on the way so I need some baby tech I need like a smart baby monitor or something like that in my well, it's life it's going to have to be a whole to... other episode we'll yes, get you back exactly. in, I'll be uh, back I'll be so... back with my smart <laughs> smart baby tech stuff so oh, yes. fantastic well um, I think uh, I'll be taking this, this little oh, oh, are you, are you these, take, yeah. yeah okay he can be him, yours so, uh, Great stuff. Well, it's been so good to, to chat to you both. I'm definitely in the Christmas spirit and ready to go and uh, get my home ready. So thank you both so much for, for joining and uh, spending the time talking to us about Sky and everything else tech. It's competition time now. So um, regular uh, listeners and viewers will know uh, we're always uh, doing lots of competitions and giving things away. And it couldn't be a, a tech episode without us um, doing a, a nice tech bundle that people can win. Uh, so actually everything uh, on the table here, including my friendly little robot over here, uh, uh, up for grabs. Um, for details of how to enter this and, and the other competitions we're entering, do follow us on social or head to redra.co.uk and you'll find all the information you need. So um, all that's left for me to do is uh, thank you both guys very much for coming oh, in. Thank I've, you for thank having you. us. Love speaking to you both and uh, thoroughly fired up for, for Christmas and going out and getting my home all tech ready yeah, now. Yeah, you so. now know what's on your Christmas wish list. Yeah, absolutely. Or you just enter the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Either or. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, um, thank you very much, everyone, for listening and watching. Uh, next episode, we're going to be uh, picking up after the, the Christmas break and looking at uh, what you need to know, kind of January, visiting new show homes, things you might like to be asking and, and looking for. So uh, look out for that one. Uh, in the meantime, have a great festive break and uh, see you soon. Mm -hmm.